My name is Aska Nyagwara, the CEO of Nyangorora Banana Processors Limited Company. We have uh, different products, but the, diff the product we have in the table is banana crisps, banana wine, banana flour, banana jam and banana vinegar. That is the product we have. Right now we are working with 500 banana farmers in the have employed 22 youths. We have the four permanent and the 18, they are just casuals. They come, we pay and they go. When we started this, we had an idea of doing banana processing, but I had no machine, I had no finance on this. So I visited Kirdi, Nairobi. I convinced them that if you bring your center in Kisi, it is going to work well because of the bananas we have now. It is when we were housed here, working with them and using their facility, machines and everything. Yes. I'm coming from a humble family, first of all. We had a shamba, a big shamba, and we planted bananas. At the end of the 15 months, they harvest like 20 to 30 punches of bananas. But when they were selling those bananas, it was a very small amount of money comparing what they invested on that. After completing my Form 4, I joined the college and I did my food science course. After that, I said, I'm not going to do, I'm not going to look for a job. I'm going back home so that I can do more research on bananas and what product can come out of bananas. I visited Kari and I sold my idea to them concerning the bananas. It is now, now we started research on different varieties of bananas and different products of bananas. Yes, I started like that. This is a new new product in the market, like the banana crisps. We have different, but this one is somehow unique. The banana wine, I think it's the day you have seen the banana wine. It is a real new product in the market. That's the first challenge I have. Another challenge I have, I'm housed at Kiridi. I don't have that freedom to exhaust what I want what I want. I'm limited with the government. As in like, when I'm doing processing, I'm supposed to do it with a limited time because this is a government facility. We open eight, we're supposed to close at five. Another challenge I have, the roads. You know, going inside, looking for farmers to give you bananas, we need to have good roads. Another big challenge we have, I'm talking now as the whole SME, is the tax the tax. We are taxed by Kenya Bill of Standard. KRA needs you. At the end of the day, you will get that as an SME, you die after two years, you are not in the market. Tax are killing the SME. And I think uh, anybody who is out there, mm -hmm. please try this. Mm -hmm. It is the, ba the, ba the, the banana ritoke crisps. Yes. It's the finest, the original, the real thing. You need to be patient. That is the first thing. You start small. As a business person, as an entrepreneur, we need to risk. Sometimes you go to bank, you take a loan, you come here, it goes and you go again to take another loan. I took a loan of half a million. I was I have a distributor who was distributing this product. He went with the market and he went with the money and I started from there. Yes, those are the challenges we face. For those people who are, uh, maybe they are jobless, maybe they are complaining that the government does not give them work, it is those people who are waiting for their white collar jobs. There is a lot of work to be done outside here. There is a lot of opportunities. If you venture to the 
value addition, especially for the agriculture, for the horticulture, like uh, tomatoes, vegetables, fruits. You can create jobs so that you can support that. So there is a lot of work here in Kenya. There is jobs if you decide, if you decide that I'm going to create. As I told you earlier, when I completed my course, I didn't go to look for a job. I created mine. Now I'm employed. As you can see, I have youth here. I have farm, I'm empowering farmers. I have mama who has come to peel bananas. Yes, it's so it is possible, not impossible. Mm -hmm.